than Mr. Western Loop or whatever over here. Actually, technically, technically it's not a bean, it's a sprout. Ah. Watch this clip and imagine that you're the guy in the crowd and the bully with the microphone is just some guy, maybe you're in a group of five or six and you say what the guy in the crowd does and his name is Andrew Schulz. He says what he says to you, what would you do to come back from him cracking and making fun of you. I want you to really think about that and then I'm gonna pop back on afterwards and we're gonna analyze this and I'm gonna teach you what you could say to a bully like this or anyone trying to put you down to put him in their place when you're really on the hook like this guy in the crowd. Don't waste my goddamn time. You could see the whole city skyline from that one thing. Yeah. It's actually not called the bean, it's something like reflect. Who the f*** ass you? I'm trying to be pretend interested in these Latin <laughs> You think I don't know you can see the skyline, buddy? <laughs> Let's look at the skyline all day. <laughs> this girl's <laughs> I'm like, oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can see all the buildings in the, re the reflective thing. Is that right? Mr. Western Loop or whatever over here. Actually, technically, <laughs> technically it's not a bean, it's a sprout. Ah. Okay, so don't think that just because this guy has the microphone that this is any different than any other social interaction in a group. Even if this guy didn't have a mic, you could be doing the exact same thing. So he calls him out for basically being dumb and not seeing what was really going on in the social interaction, basically saying he couldn't see that he was flirting, he wasn't that interested in what those girls were saying, and this guy took it very seriously, saying he's a dope and couldn't read social cues. But here's the thing, he's actually using a twist on a technique that I, I teach in the Quick and Witty Comeback Boot Camp called the derogatory nickname. Now that he's got him pinned as that dope that couldn't read the social cues and he's the guy that's thinking about things really logically, he's gonna go back over and over and hit the guy with it again. Yeah, most people confuse a sprout and a bean. They're different things. Now, one of the things to learn about his delivery that's so good is that's really nasty. When you find, because the guy clearly, he didn't sound like he was a super jovial guy, like he's a very serious guy, making a comment trying to contribute. So he calls him out for basically being an idiot, but look how hard he's laughing at it. That really couches it. If you were somebody who tried to deliver that same joke but wasn't laughing, was just very serious about it, like, you know, em emulating the same thing but not joking, then it's not seen as funny. It's just seen as nasty. Like, nobody likes to be around people that are nasty. But this guy's laughing. He's having a good time with it. So that makes it all framed in a way that's lighthearted. So people watching this see him as high status because not only is he the authority making fun of somebody else, calling somebody else out for not seeing social cues, but he's having a great time. He's got a great mood, which sucks people in. People want to be part of a good energy. <laughs> oh, you got to keep you around just a block for no reason. You just walk up to a girl like, damn, girl, those heels must be tough to walk in. Uh, technically, those are wedges. Uh, that's so once, let, let's say he, he's not on stage and this is just, a, let's say you're at a bar, okay? Let's say he's at a bar flirting with some girls and maybe this guy is friends with those girls or some guy that wants to talk to those girls as well. Anytime this guy says anything, what if this guy at this point says something that's actually kind of cool or logical, right? Or say it's a different interaction, he says something cool or logical. All this guy has to do is get in that voice and call it out again and again until the guy leaves. The guy realizes anything I say is going to make me look more stupid. I'm just going to leave at this point. It's a very, very, t I, I, I was coaching my program, only use this when, and clearly this is a stand-up comedian, he's known for crowd work, he does this on stage all the time, but only use this when someone's being really nasty. Let's say you are out at a restaurant with your buddy and you're talking to some women and some other guy comes up and tries to join your group. Don't just immediately blow him out of the water with something super rude like this. There's a lot of other more low-key ways that you can keep your status and keep the group engaged and get the guy out of there without blowing him out of the water like something like this, but this is a great example to watch. That's not exactly a hill. 
That's a wedge. Some, some people refer to it as a pump. That might be a pump right there. Just want to clarify. Why was he cock blocking? Damn, that's... Where are you from, miss? What's your background? Why are you tan looking? You're Cuban. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. But technically, she shouldn't be here. I so if you were that guy in the crowd, and this guy was talking to you like this, or let's say more realistically, you're just out. Maybe you're just at a happy hour and some guy's drunk and he's coming at you like this. He catches you with something like this. You said, stupid, what would you do to defend yourself? I've got another YouTube video where I'll walk you through how to come up with quick and witty things to say when people try to talk down to you. Or maybe it's just at the workplace or maybe your friends or family always make you look stupid and you just kind of stand there and you can't think of anything quick to say to put them in place. That's a real problem because people learn to know you as an easy target, and so they naturally make fun of you anytime they get a chance, whereas you can crack people a few times with these quick comebacks, they're no longer gonna make fun of you because they don't want to get made fun of by you because they know you got a sharp comeback. So you can touch or click right here, and I'll walk you through that in that YouTube video here now. Um, there's a train at Bargon kill by the steps. Not only cigars, but also people from coming. <laughs> 